Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Phil. Welcome to another Windows 98 tutorial. This question pops up often. Modern cases might not even have an optical drive slot anymore or the drives are too noisy or you just don't want to uh, use disks because you've got originals and you want to uh, store them into in a safe place. So today we're going to check out some software to create a virtual CD DVD drive and I'm also going to show you how you can uh, create images of your original games, how to install the software. We're basically using the Demon Tools uh, 3.47 that creates the virtual disk drive and we're also going to use alcohol 120% uh, in order to create our disk images. So I'm going to run you through the installation, how to use the software and also I'm going to mention what you need to do in order to get the CD audio uh, support going because there are some issues under Windows 98. Okay guys, enjoy this video. The system we're using in this video is a Pentium 2 running at 350 MHz. We've got the 8-bit BH6 motherboard, 256 megabytes of RAM, a NVIDIA Quadro 2 Pro graphics card, and we've got a 16 gigabyte SD card as our storage. I've updated the DirectX and we are running version 7.0. So to get started, we need to install Daemon Tools. Version 3.47 is the final version that works in Windows 98. So if we try running it, um, we just go install. And unfortunately, we get an error message. It says the Windows installer was not found or is outdated. Now, the download and install won't work. The servers are not up and running anymore. There are two options you can uh, try. The first one is this one here. This is a standalone update for the installer. I'll put a link uh, down below in the description that will take you to my website where you can download uh, that update. The other option is you run the unofficial uh, service pack update, just install the core updates and it will apply that same patch for you. Okay, let's try it again. So let's just double click on the installer, click on install and it should now work fine. We're selecting Next, we can give our devices different names, but we just leave it at the default settings and next and off it goes. Now, a couple of notes, do try to use the first drive letter for your optical drive. So if you have a real optical drive or you've got several virtual drives, uh, do play the game in the very first one. Okay, we need to do another reboot and we are back in a moment. Okay, that's all ready to go. We've got our daemon tools here. And if we go to the Explorer, we should see uh, a D drive here. It's right over there at the moment. There's no disk inserted. So in order to load some uh, disk images, I've got a few uh, copies that are created of my disks on the desktop. So we just right click on uh, daemon tools, virtual CD, DVD, ROM. We go uh, media and then mount image. And then we can go to the desktop and we can mount our games. I'm going to start with Tomb Raider 2. To create your CD images, I'm using Alcohol 120. It's freeware. I'll put a link down below to my website where I've uploaded this file, Demon Tools and all the other stuff so you can get it from one place. So we use the image making wizard and firstly it scans the disk drive and this is a Half-Life and we can see this is a multi-track game. It's got a data track and then it's got a couple of audio tracks. Um, very interesting is this link down here, the data type analyzer, which will scan the disk and tell you if there's any copy protection going on. In this case, there's no copy protection, but if something shows up here, you just uh, click on the data type and select that matching profile. Um, as I said, in our case, normal CD is fine. And once you've done that, you just press start and it starts uh, copying the file. So it found already, I've done that before, so I'm just gonna quickly override it. But there's not much more to it. Basically check if the disk has a copy protection, select the profile and start copying your disks into images. There is a big issue with getting the CD audio track uh, support going under Windows 98 and Daemon Tools, and that has to do with the driver version. There are a couple of 
ways you can look at it you basically need a WDM driver so here it tells us it's a WDM driver but you can also run DirectX diagnostic and if we then click on the, the sound options it will also tell us what driver we have so over, over here WDM the other driver is the VXD driver now the Windows driver model drivers they are more uh, stable but they perform a little bit slower than the VXD drivers and they can cause issues with 3D uh, accelerated audio so um, your mileage <clears throat> might vary and it does depend a little bit on the game however if your CD audio doesn't work check what sound drivers you're using and if you're using the VXD drivers that's why you need to upgrade to the WDM drivers there's another setting that you need to change in order to get the CD audio working and that is in the control panel under multimedia and then CD music and there's a tick box here enable digital CD audio for the CD-ROM drive um, if you're using VXD drivers this is usually grayed out but if you're using the WDM drivers then the tick box works okay and lastly do check your audio mixer settings usually I mute the CD audio just to get a cleaner signal and although you might be thinking well the sound card has nothing to do with it because this is analog well actually it does so if you've got the CD audio muted in the mixer um, it won't work in the virtual CD software so make sure it's unmuted and the level is adjusted to your taste So there you have it guys, it's fairly straightforward. Stick with the version 3.47, update the installer or use the unofficial service pack and check that you have WDM drivers installed and you should have a fairly good experience. Now you can also use drive images across networks. So if you've got a network attached storage that also works quite well. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you soon with another video.